there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm going to be doing a piece of fine art, and I'm going to be using watercolor and brush powders in order to paint this glass of soda. The verse is Proverbs 11.25, a generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. And I've got a piece of watercolor paper, and I'm painting water on it to drop the brush powder into it. This is watercolor powder, so it turns into watercolor as soon as it starts to get wet. So I make a pool of water and then I can move the color around within it. Some of it will stay granulated, some of it will not. And it's just a fun way to do some interesting painting. A lot of people will just do background types of things and paint starry skies with it, but I like to do a little bit of controlled painting with it by giving it water to stick to because it won't stick to the paper. I can blow off any of the powder that sprinkles elsewhere onto it. So you can just watch as the glass of ice magically starts to appear as I do my painting. While I tell you why I've chosen to do this glass of Coke. I'm a Cokeaholic for one. So when my worship pastor had mentioned at one point how he was praying for the Lord to empty out the ice in his glass, in his life, because he felt like he was taking up so much space. There was not enough room for the Lord to pour the Holy Spirit into his life. He just had too much ice. And that was his prayer for us that Sunday, was that God would just release us to make more room for him in our lives and in our hearts. And I couldn't get that image out of my head. And then at another point, I ended up taking part in a Bible lettering challenge, and this verse from Proverbs was used. And I thought, this is what I want to do with it. I want to use this glass because I really wanted to paint this glass. And, and you know, since I'm a Cocoholic, that's what I decided to do. So I'm adding, using a little bit of kyanite in the Daniel Smith watercolors, that is that blue, uh, for the bubbles on the top, and then I'll use a little of that for the lettering as well. And the rest of this will be brush I'll add a little bit of water down at the bottom so it makes it look like there was a little bit of spillage maybe. And add some drops onto the side of the glass, that sort of thing. I love the idea of the, the verse though. I mean that this verse is one of those that has a promise along with a command that we're supposed to refresh others. And if we refresh others, we too will be refreshed. And for me, there is nothing more refreshing than a big old glass of my favorite beverage. So you can imagine this is iced tea or something if that is your favorite beverage. But remember that the point is not your beverage. It's the fact that God will refresh you if you give generously to others. And I'm really big on charity. If you followed my other channel and my blog, I do on a regular basis a variety of fundraisers for different charities and try to get my followers to help out because we can do more if we do it together. And if you have a cause that has been nagging at your heart in, in recent times before you've watched this video, if there's something where you've thought, you know, I really should help out with such and such a cause, whatever that thing is, whether it's that person, that homeless person you've seen recently that the Lord just tugged on your heart and said, I should do something. Go right now after, well, finish the video and then go and make a donation online to whatever that cause is and take that action right away. Don't wait to do it and look for God's refreshing afterward. Sometimes it's just that feeling in your heart where you feel lighter, you feel like you've made a difference, you feel like it, it just feels good to give. And other times he's going to find a different way to refresh you. If you're having a hard time financially and you don't feel like you can give much, you give $5 and you may find that God refreshes your finances so you don't even miss that $5. Uh, I know that you know, there are churches that preach the prosperity gospel, you know, give us your money and God will give you a thousandfold back, whatever. That's not how it works. God is looking for our willingness to surrender to him and trust him for our resources. So I'm not saying this in order to, you know, get you to 
give and then in order to get back, but look for what he does for you. Look for how he lifts your heart. Look for how he provides some kind of a sign that your gift made a difference, that something you did had an impact. And if you don't have even $5 to give to your favorite cause, go and volunteer some time because we all have at least a little bit of time. You can find a half an hour to go work at the food bank and fill some some baskets or boxes for somebody. You can you can find if you if you really want to, you can you can find a way that you can give to someone else who needs something because there's always going to be somebody who needs more than you do. Now in order to make the words match with the loose painting of the glass, I'm painting two of the primary words in the verse with the water and then dropping in the color. And I'll do that with both of the words and then I can just blow off the excess once once I'm done so you can see how the powder goes over the edge. But this allows me to kind of make it look like it it goes with the picture that I've painted on the right hand side. And you don't always have to do these things in your Bible. You can do them outside of your Bible like this and add lots of bubbles. I'm going to add lots of little blue bubbles with the kyanite. Kyanite is a color that has a little bit of shimmer to it as well as uh, being a beautiful granulating color, which means it has a nice texture to it. And I'm just kind of painting some bubbles and lifting off any excess. So if I have too rich of color, then dabbing it off will, will work. The brush out doesn't really dab off very much. It's heavily, heavily pigmented as you can see. Really strong color. Now I did do this one also in my Bible. So in addition to having a piece on my wall, I have it in a different place in my Bible. But that one was done with just regular watercolors and with a different verse. And that's about it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey with a glass of soda with me. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do that. Watch some more videos and I will see you next time. I hope you have a great week. God bless you. Bye-bye.